Hello everyone, Mike here. Tonight I had an interest in documenting what I consider my modest web presence. Over the years I have had many reviews and articles written about some of the singing I've done. Uh, these websites won't be around forever, so it is important to me to document what mention has been made of me uh, over some of the most important moments of my life. I was delighted to find this video clip mention on a show called The List that did a video on events around Baltimore. In this video, they make mention of my Anthem Proposal event with the Baltimore Orioles on August 17, 2013. They mention that this privilege was in essence a bending of the policy for the Baltimore Orioles. Let's give it a listen. Number two. Remember the story last year of the opera singer who proposed to his girlfriend after singing the national anthem? Yeah, that was an exception to the rule at Camden Yards. The Orioles are one of five teams in Major League Baseball who don't allow pre-scheduled on-field marriage proposals, according to SwimmingLeague.com. The others, Toronto Blue Jays, Los Angeles Angels, Kansas City Royals, and the New York Mets. And if you're thinking of driving down 95 for a bridal bargain at National Stadium, you'll be paying a premium of $1,500. At number three, here's your chance to fight like a raven. One of the most monumental moments of my life has some interesting mention in both the Baltimore Sun websites as well as ESPN and MLB.com. This event is, of course, my proposal to my now wife, Shelby Troutman. This event took place on August 17th, 2013 at Camden Yards in Baltimore, Maryland. The first website I would like to share is from the Baltimore Sun article on the proposal. The Baltimore Sun article is titled, Orioles National Anthem Singer Proposes After Belting Out Star-Spangled Banner on Saturday at Camden Yards. The text from the article reads as follows. Saturday's National Anthem Singer at Camden Yards, Michael Fries, surprised his girlfriend, Shelby Troutman, by proposing to her after belting out the Star-Spangled Banner for the Orioles-Rockies game. See photos of the proposal taken by Baltimore Sun photographer Carl Merton Ferrin. Oh, and she said yes. Beneath that are about five photos presented in a slideshow that show the main photos taken from that event. The second article was, in my humble opinion, very well written and summarizes the joy of that day when I proposed to Shelby at Camden Yards on August 17th, 2013. The second article that makes mention of my proposal to Shelby is featured on the MLB website written by Dakota Gardner on August 17th, 2013. This article is titled, Ah Romance, National Anthem Singer Proposes to Girlfriend After Performance. The text from this article reads as follows. Michael Fries was given the honor of singing the national anthem before Saturday's Rockies Oriole game, but that wasn't the most important memory he made at Camden Yards. After Fries finished his wonderful performance, he turned to his girlfriend Shelby Troutman and got down on bended knee with an engagement ring in hand. Troutman said yes, the Orioles won, and just like that, the happy couple had an instantly unforgettable day. While not web presence, I still wanted to share and document this article written about me in Newsday, Long Island's newspaper, regarding me competing in the 2006 Island Idol competition. This year I would not go on to win, but the year following that I would go on to win the $5,000 cash prize and the title of Long Island's Idol. Here is the article from Newsday. Hicksville resident Michael Fries, pictured above singing the national anthem at a Long Island Ducks game last year, is one of the finalists for the 2006 Long Island radio station BLI contest Island Idol. Based on the smash TV hit show American Idol, Michael is a math and philosophy major at CW Post and is part of the college vocal jazz group. After making it to the next round, Michael was interviewed live and sang on the Steve and Maria in the Morning show on May 17th. To vote for the next Island Idol, go to WBLI website, www.wbli.com, register, and click on the song title below of each of the finalists and listen to their audition, then vote for the one that you think is the best. 
The person voted WBLI's Island Idol receives $5,000 cash, studio time to record their demo master at John Lennon Center for Music and Technology at Five Towns College. A makeover from Cactus Salon and Day Spa, limo into New York City to meet major labels and A&R rep and play for them your demo, and a chance to perform at WBLI events throughout the summer. MLB.com also makes brief mention of the proposal in its article, Sweetest MLB Proposals. I had a brief residency at Binghamton's Tri-City Opera. Though I only performed in one opera, my name is mentioned along with dozens of other singers as a former singer. There were also reviews of my performance in the one opera I sang in Marriage of Figaro. However, I have been unable to find them. One of my most recent articles is a brief post on the Des Moines Oak Leafs page commemorating my anthem performance at their game on February 4th, 2022. The final mention of my name on the internet must be prefaced with a little bit of a story. One night I was driving home after getting dinner and I heard my name on the radio as having won $100,000 from the Iowa State Lottery. What I literally heard was, the winner of the $100,000 is Michael Freeze. I was like totally shocked, so I pull over and listen further, and I was very perplexed because I typically don't play the lottery, so I was dumbfounded as to how I could have won. Remarkable enough, there is another Michael Freeze in Iowa. He lives in Emmett County, Iowa, so he won the $100,000, and alas, I did not. But I share it today because it was a good laugh, and I hope you enjoy as well. Thus concludes all my internet presence as of now. Over the years, many articles have been deleted, so hence the reason why I have such a haste to go out and document these articles before they're gone forever. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Bye.